Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear viewers. I am Dr. Nasheen Afsha and you are watching Dr. Nasheen Afsha YouTube. I hope that all of you would be fine and I am thankful to you for watching this video. To watch more videos please subscribe my channel and press bell icon. So our today's lecture is about structure of alkenes according to hybridization. And we will discuss the one example of alkenes that is ethene in this video lecture. So as you know that the electronic configuration of carbon with atomic number 6 is at its ground state the energy at its ground state the electronic configuration of carbon becomes like this here 1s2, 2s2, 2px1, 2py1 and 2pz would be empty and the energy level increases from bottom to top. So, if we consider the placement of the atomic orbitals with respect to its energy level, then 1s orbital would be at the lowest energy level, then 2s would be a bit higher than the 1s and to be x, y and z would be a bit higher, would be at a bit higher energy level as compared to that of 2s. So, now at its excited state, At excited state what happens that here 1s orbital stays as it is as it is then 2s and then 2px y and z. So from here 2px uh, sorry this is 2s one electron from this 2s jumps to the here in 2pz orbital. This is 2px, 2py and 2pz. So, one electron would be at, would be in 2s orbital and one electron would be jumped from this 2s orbital to 2pz orbital. So, in this way at excited state 1s will have 2 electrons, 2s 1 electron, 2px 1, 2py 1 and 2pz 1 electron. So, now in the case of hybrid orbital formation what would happen as the molecule shows here it is CH2 double bond CH2 so this means that if we consider only one side of this compound like this CH2 then one one bond is here the two hydrogens have been attached with this so this carbon is attached with only two hydrogens one hydrogen and two so the other two bonds are with the other carbon atom so for this purpose it would generate the three hybrid orbitals So, this 2s orbital would intermix with these 2px and 2py orbitals as there are 3 number of orbitals so, uh, so only 3 hybrid orbitals would be formed here that would be sp2 because here only 2p orbitals have taken part so this would show the two, two p atomic or orbitals have been taken part in the formation of hybrid orbitals and one s and the total number of hybrid orbitals are three and the position of these would not be at the equal energy level as these one the hybrid orbitals that would lie in between these two 2s because it is a bit lower energy level and the 2p orbitals are at a high, little bit higher energy level. So, when these would intermix then an intermediate energy level would be drawn like this. So, this energy level is in between these 2s and 2p orbitals. So, these are sp2, 
sp2 and sp2 orbital as all these three orbitals are partially filled so here there would be only one electron in each and these are at the same energy level we cannot draw one of them at the higher and two of them at lower energy level that would be totally wrong so these are at the equal energy level and this remaining 2pz would be at bit higher energy level because it is uh, that means at a bit higher energy level from these hybrid orbitals but its energy level would be same as in the excited state this that is 2pz and it has one electron so in this way now the next point comes towards their orientation so these three sp2 hybrid orbitals would orient themselves in such a way if this is the carbon atom so one hybrid orbital would align in this way and two other would be aligned at the corners of a triangular shape so here for three corners there is a triangle one here second and third so just like three corners of a triangular shape these three hybrid orbitals would be aligned as, as sorry sp2 here it is also sp2 with one electron over here one over here and it is also sp2 with one electron over here so now this carbon atom is also attached with the hydrogen so now this carbon atom is attached with two hydrogen atoms and if you see hydrogen has one atomic number and that one electron is placed in 1s orbital and that 1s orbital would overlap with this sp2 hybrid orbital and the other one would overlap with the other sp2 orbital so in this way these two hydrogens have overlapped with these sp2 hybrid orbitals now the case is with the other carbon atom the three sp2 hybrid orbitals are these ones and there was also an unhybridized 2pz orbital with one electron so that so we see its case later on so this carbon atom also has the similar situation as this one so its sp2 hybrid orbitals would be aligned in the similar way So one electron is from this sp2 orbital and one electron would be from this sp2 hybrid orbital like this. Similarly here there would be one electron and also one electron would be here. So this carbon atom is also attached with the two hydrogens. Here there would be two hydrogens. Now, the one 2pz orbital is at this carbon and one 2pz orbital is at this carbon atom. Both of these carbon atoms have one 2pz orbital in each. So, we draw its 2pz orbital like this and its 2pz orbital would be like this. as they have the one electron so 
one electron would be here and one electron would be at this 2pz orbital. This is the 2pz, this is the 2pz. This has one orbital. No doubt its shape is lobed, but it is considered as one electron. So now as they are parallel to each other, so these would overlap with each other. These would interact with each other. We, we will show their interaction with, the, with each other like this dotted line over here. And this dotted line would show that there is a region of overlapping or a region of interaction between these 2pz orbitals. So this carbon atom interacts with this carbon atom with its 2pz orbitals also. So now we move toward the sigma or pi bond allocation. Here all these bonds, this is the overlap overlapping with sp2 along with 1s orbitals is accompanied with the sigma bonds. This sp2, sp2 is also accompanied by sigma bond formation. These are considered as the sigma bonds. So every carbon has total three, three sigma bonds and this one has this shared sigma bond with this carbon. So this is considered as a whole just one. One this one, two, three sigma bond, four and five sigma bond. So in this way, there are total five sigma bonds have been formed. It's better to write down like this. So total number of sigma bonds is five in the case of ethene and as this overlapped region is considered as a pi bond. So there is one pi bond. So that means if we draw this like here, here, you see this carbon atom is attached with two hydrogens. So via sigma bonds, one, two, three, four, and fifth sigma bond would be in between these two carbon atoms. Total five sigma bonds and one pi bond is shown by putting an other line either above or below the sigma bond. So this additional line would show a pi bond. If there is one line that would show one pi bond and that would indicate that this 2pz would be in overlapped manner with the other 2pz orbital of the between two carbon atoms. So now you see if we measure the bond angle between H C H or H C, C, this H, C, C. So here, in both of these cases, the bond angle is 120 degree. And similar case is with this carbon atom. Here, it is also 120 degree. So, all of these bond angles are at 120 degree. So that means the geometry in the case of geometry in the case of ethene molecule is trigonal because we will discuss the geometry along either this carbon atom or this carbon atom. So in every case the geometry would be trigonal. So thank you very much for watching the video. Please subscri uh, subscribe my channel and press bell icon. Allah Hafiz.